Puffy. What are you doing? Bark. Oh. Yeah, I get it. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Okay. This is part two of Parts of the Tree. And today we're going to be talking about texture. It's one of the elements of art. And there's a really important part of a tree that's very textural. And it's called bark. That's right. So here is a little picture that we have of a tree. This is actually from a, from a, a national park that we went to. And if you look closely, there are these giant, giant roots. Yes, we know about roots. They're usually underground. But this tree is so old that the roots are starting to come up out of the ground. But the purpose of this picture is to look at texture. That's right. The texture is just bumpy. Some places it's smooth. Some places it's hard. Some places... Yes, it's rough. And here is another picture. Wow, look at that. It's pretty weird, isn't it? Pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. What great textures. Yes, what is the purpose of bark? Well, bark is like skin. Or like fur. Or like a blanket. It's going to cover the tree, the wood, the branches, and it's going to keep all the wet water out. That's right, wet water out. And when it gets too dry, the bark will hold in any moisture that the tree needs. Yes, that's very good. But bark is like skin. And if you don't have it, woo, oh, the tree's probably going to die. So we're going to emphasize some texture on our project and explain how we're going to do it. And we're also going to look at all the different um, materials we have today, too. So let's get started. Good. Bark, bark, bark. Yes, I know. Pretty funny. What you're looking at is the pattern from the last video. And we have cut out the pattern for the tree just a little bit bigger because what we're going to do is turn over these edges and we're going to do a little bit of stuffing inside so it gives it a little bit more texture. So we're also going to do some stitching down here. Now you can use a different color, complementary color, it's up to you. You can even do it by machine where you go up and down and up and down. Now, after I get this cut out, I'm going to iron on. This is fleece iron on. It'll make it thicker and the texture will be more obvious. Now, what else we're going to need, since Alfie wants to have a blue tree, is we're going to need flowers or leaves, whatever you would like to make. And I have flannel and fleece. So whichever one is on sale, that's what you should get. So this is kind of a periwinkle. So this should go pretty nice with this. And this is a royal blue or cobalt blue fleece. So it's a little bit thicker. And then I also have in the violet family, but it really does look blue when you hold it up against the fabric. So I'll be cutting out some leaves with these three different colors. I also have some purple, and I'll, I'll see if I want to use that in a little bit. What I'd like to do is take the word crown and make a crown on the top of this tree with some gems. So I have really large gems and really small gems. I'll lay this down for a second so you can see them like this. 
And what I'll do is put these on absolutely last. I also have little tiny gems that sometimes look blue and sometimes look purple. I'm going to add some of those. And when I went to the fabric store, I found some of these um, sparkly metallic green leaves, which I think will be a really nice touch. Every once in a while, I'll throw in a sequin and a bead, maybe. So the tree will have an overall glow or glisten. And I even have some of these that I made a long time ago. And I may use them, but we'll talk about that later. So from here, what I need to do is start cutting out the tree and start getting ready for all the leaves. See you soon. I have the tree just about all the way cut out. One more little area here. It's ready to go. Now I need to take it to the iron to make sure that this is attached. Now that the fleece is ironed onto the back, it's time to trim a little bit so it looks a little bit more like branches and not so much like giant hands coming out of the top. A little better. I'm going to keep going. So now I'm going to look at these fleece and flannel pieces and this is the darkest, this is the next, and then this is the lightest. So I'm going to start with the darkest and put those in the back first. So if you would like to just use plain fleece, that's fine. If you would like to use double, that'll make it a little bit thicker and easier to cut. So let's just start cutting some leaves and see what I can come up with. I think Alfie's gonna like that. So I'm gonna make a strip and make a lot of them and place them all around and then I'll use my next color and put those on the top. And using colors like this will make it have more depth. So here we go. And I'll make sure all these leaf patterns are on the original cutout. There you go. See like that? Very easy. I've been busy cutting out lots of leaves. They're all different sizes. And I'm just kind of placing them around. And I put my gems up at the top. They're not glued on. Nothing's sewn on yet. I haven't used any of my sequins. So that's still coming. And this picture, if you look closely, it looks like there are patches patches of textures. So what I'm going to do is take the extra pieces that I had when I cut it out and I'm going to make some very abstract looking patches. And then when I sew them on all the way up different sizes. It'll be very textural and that's the whole point of this lesson is texture. So 
Let's keep going. Hi there. Well, we're at a point now where it's time to start sewing. We're going to use white quilted fabric for a background to not conflict with all the blue and all the different colors that are going on. And right now, I need you to pick a color of the thread that we're going to use. Should we use white? Should we use blue? Yeah, I know you like blue. Or should we use orange? That's the complement. You know that. You remember the complementary colors, yes, or orange. So we're going to stitch all around here, make sure the tree stays on the fabric. And we'll do some extra stitching for texture. So which color should we use? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, I know blue would make you the happiest. Well, can we use blue for the outside edges? Okay. And could we use this orange? I know you like blue, but could we use orange for more details and then it'll be more, yeah, visually textural, visual texture that you only see with your eyes. How about that? It's kind of like a compromise. Okay, let's do that. All right. See you later.